After we place the cannula, the next step is to um, clip and prep the area. So always be really gentle with your clippers um, because a lot of the time these poor male dogs, they can get a little bit of a reaction to the clippers. So nice and handy. Um, so the new string that we're going to do today, um, the castration on um, Covey that we're going to do, is pre-scrotal. So our incision will be um, in front of the testicles. Um, and I'm just going to have to shave uh, the testicles a tiny bit as well because we're going to do our local anaesthetics now as well. So I always go very handy when you're clipping, nice and slowly, and don't leave any red marks on it. Try not to clip too much hair off the testicles because it can make them really itchy. So just the front area that um, will be near your wound. So that's everything now for that. And the next step is to give them a clean. So when you're doing a surgical scrub, you start on your incision site and then around. So never put the dirty cotton wool back into your incision site again so that you're always using the clean bit for incision site. Covey's nice and clean actually, which is good. So you always want to clean the, the actual wound area first so that you're not introducing any dirt back into it. So if I cleaned out here first and then brought my dirty cotton wool in, we're straight away um, putting dirt and bacteria back into the incision site, um, which we don't want. We want to have a clean, sterile site to start with um, so that we don't introduce any infection. So this is exactly where our incision is going to be. So that is the cleanest area and we use every bit of it, even though we're getting a clean cotton wool coming back. Um, cleaning is the most important part um, because it reduces the chances of infection. So we have that done now and we're going to do a local anaesthetic now on this. Um, so we're using lidocaine. Um, with the, we're doing three injections, so we're going to be injecting into each testicle um, and then we're going to be injecting into the incision site as well. So what this will do is it will numb the area for up to seven or eight hours. I find that it reduces our gas anaesthetic, where you can have them on a way lower gas anaesthetic which makes it safer and the dog is more comfortable. They tend to wake up and not um, lick at the area straight away because it's numb. So in the testicles, you can put in 0 0.08 mils per kilo of lidocaine. Um, so for Covey, that's about a mil into each testicle. So what you do is you hold your testicle, um, feel it in your hands, and you're going up in the direction of the epididymis. So up like this. So I have two mils in this, so we're just going to inject a mil. So you'll feel, you'll actually feel the testicle swelling a little bit with the, with the liquid. So that's good. So that's one side done. So this is the next side then. So what this is, is it's numbing the area so he won't feel um, the neutering as much. And it'll also provide a pain relief for him um, after the surgery. So that's another side done. And then our incision site as well, I like to put some into the skin so he won't feel the incision either. So that needs about five to 10 minutes to work. So we'll just need to do a small scrub again because I've obviously touched the area now. And um, just one more small scrub and I'm gonna get prepared to induce him and get myself prepared for surgery too. Thank you.